But in terms of the passport and the driving licence, yeah. you, you, you voted to take the words European Union off them. I, it, it, again, that's a, that's, a, that's a very immature simplification. Okay. I voted leave, I voted leave in, in large part because I don't want more EU directives transposed into British law by statutory instruments Mate, to be signed just, by the relevant minister. Okay, so, so give me the things then. Oh, this, I can't do this anymore. Give me the things that you feel constrained by or the laws that you don't like or the things that you're really looking forward not to have to do anymore, Ross. Oh, oh, uh, EU laws that I don't like. Well, where should we begin? No, no, the, 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 the things, that, the things that well, you won't have to do anymore after we've left. I, I apologise if I'm being immature again, but the question seems really easy to understand to me. Well, if, if, we, if we leave and we actually repeal a number of laws, uh, that, well, there's, there's all sorts of things. The, take a small one from the EU landfill directive uh, to the fact... How does that affect you, Ross? How does it affect how, how I put my bins out? Yes, how, how, how will a change to the EU landfill directive affect you? Well, because, because every week we have, to, we have to recycle in a certain way, we have to put food waste... That, that's your, that's your council, that's not the EU that's doing that. All councils have different bin policies. But anyway, let's pretend you're right, Ross. To tell me how your bins are going to be a brave new world after March 2019. Again, you're, you're reducing it to the... It's no, Ross, I'm taking what you give me, mate. I asked for something, you said bins, and now you're embarrassed that we're talking about bins, but it was you that wanted to talk about bins. Well, it's simply an example of how the EU has extended its control over every... Right, and that's the best you've life. got, you think? So tell me what you're going to be able to do with your bins after we've left, Ross. Well, it depends what, it depends what the government decides. What do you dream of? Tell me about your bin-based dream. decide whatever it wants, yes. because it no longer has to follow an EU directive that was signed, <sighs> that was signed into British law by yeah. the relevant minister. Okay, I, again, I'm, I, I'm sorry for being immature and simplistic, but just describe your bin-based dream to me. What, what, is, what is the future of bins in Abu Dhabi that makes you sort of glow with patriotic pride? That's not what makes me, that's, that's, again, very mature. What makes me not glow with patriotic pride... What are you looking forward to? I want to join you in this brave new bin-based future. What will I be able to do after leaving that I can't do now with my rubbish? Well, it, again, it depends what the government... Just tell me, Ross, please. What do you want the government to do? What is your bin-based Brexit bonanza? What I want is that this government makes its own laws and that it doesn't have to transpose EU directly. Yeah, yeah, statutory instruments. Yes, I know what you're reading from, but again, last what chance, last chance, bins. What does the future look like? I, I, I don't know because it's what the government decides. It okay. will decide what it wants 